World Cancer Day for February. It's about closing the care gap. Non-communicable diseases, including cancer, are among WHO's 10 threats to global health. In 2020, 10 million died of cancer. However, progress is possible. 30 to 50 percent of all cancer cases are preventable. Everyone is at risk, but what can you do to reduce your cancer risk? Choose healthy foods, move more, be active, quit smoking, cut down on alcohol, be sun smart and stay away from solariums. Avoid pollutants and chemicals including asbestos, pesticides and containers and other stuffs that contain BPA. Get vaccinated. Know the signs and symptoms. Coming to cancer signs and symptoms, detecting cancer early is one of the most powerful ways we can help save lives. With so many different types of cancers, the symptoms are varied. Yet, there are key signs and symptoms to look out for. Some of these include unusual lumps or swelling, which are often painless and may increase in size, persistent coughing, breathlessness, or difficulty swallowing. Changes in bowel habits, example, constipation, diarrhea, and or blood found in the stools, needing to urinate urgently, more frequently, or being unable to go when you need to or experiencing pain, unexpected bleeding, including from the vagina, anal passage, or while urinating or when coughing, unexplained and unintentional weight loss over a short period, fatigue, extreme tiredness and a severe lack of energy, new mole or changes to a mole in terms of size, shape or color, and if it becomes crusty or bleeds or oozes, unexplained or ongoing pain or pain that comes and goes, unusual breast changes in size, shape or feel, skin changes or pain, feeling less hungry than usual for a prolonged period of time, a spot, so wound or mouth ulcer that won't heal, persistent or painful heartburn or indigestion, heavy drenching, night sweats. If you experience any of these signs and symptoms, don't be afraid to seek medical advice urgently. Needless to say, good health drives productivity, social stability and economic growth. What inaction costs us? immense, huge. The total global economic cost of cancer has been estimated at 1.16 trillion US dollar. And you can check the equivalent value in Indian currency as on 4th February 2022. Three people, father, mother, and a son, try to look over fence. The two images depict the difference between the concept of equality and equity. Equality implies each individual or group of people is given the same resources or opportunities. You can see stools of same height given to all the three. Image on the left hand side represents the concept of equity. Equity implies recognizing that each person has different circumstances and therefore requires resources and opportunities specific to their situation so that everyone can enjoy an equal outcome. Having said that, it is pertinent to note around 70% of all cancer deaths occur in the least developed parts of the world. To put the figures and some facts, 90% of low and middle income countries LMICs, don't have access to radiotherapy, one of the essential ways to treat cancer. Only 5% of global resources for cancer prevention and control are spent in LMICs. By 2040, the global demand for cancer chemotherapy will increase from 10 million to 15 million. Two-thirds of this demand is expected to come from patients living in LMICs. 
Surprisingly, half the world's population lacks access to the full range of essential health services and many are denied basic cancer care. Why? Due to differences in income and education levels, geographical location and discrimination based on ethnicity, race, gender, sexual orientation, age, disability and lifestyle. Let us give everyone a chance with equitable access to cancer care. After all, progress is possible. Today, there are 43.8 million people alive within five years of a cancer diagnosis. As investment, information, diagnostics and treatments improve, our chance of surviving cancer is getting better. For more facts and figures, do visit wallcancerday.org. It's time to close the care gap. Let there be no discrimination. Let us close the care gap. It's time to clean the inequity from the backyard. It's all about being united to close the care gap. Furthermore, where you live shouldn't determine if you live. Moreover, race doesn't define you. So why should it deny you? Friends, cancer may be life altering. But it is definitely not life defining. Together we can. We can surely defeat cancer. Let us join hands in hands.